Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Series content. In today's video, we're going to discuss update 2.4 and other events that is happening this December. But before that, if you want to see more XO Series content, please hit the subscribe button down below. What is up, everyone? So for this video, we're going to discuss update 2.4. But before that, I want to tell you all that there is a premium recruit free 77 times um, event that's happening now. So it just started today and it will be up until December 30. So for those who are new to the game and for those who are starting, now is a really good time to start the game. So log in for seven days and get um, all 77 free time summon from the game or from Exos Heroes. So let's proceed to our update 2.4. Okay, so here we are at update 2.4. This video is a little bit late because I've had <laughs> so many problems this week. Been busy as well. Had to replace my mic and everything. But now I'm good. So let's proceed to the update. Just want to give you my thoughts um, on the update because I've covered this previously in the director's notes already. So as for the actual update, so we currently have um, new Path of Trials update. So, difficulty adjustments in special missions lowered. So, this is actually good for those who are or who want to clear the stages. Um, even for new or older players who cannot um, really get through the stage. So, as the new path of trials are being added, the special missions to the story and new path of trials will be adjusted to make the game a little bit easier than before. So all no break conditions are being deleted and the number of break conditions are also being reduced in the story. So this is pretty good because um, breaking um, the enemies is actually the key to clearing um, most of the, the PvE content in this game. So the number of break conditions in the, in the special mission in Path of Trials will also be reduced and some of the conditions that were too hard to meet are being lowered in difficulty matter okay so also there's a new fate core update so i'll just um breeze through this because um i'm i'm not to be honest with you i'm not really recommending jean because uh he is actually pretty much underwhelming in terms of uh, his kit um i would actually honestly um you you save your zest for a gold fate core I think um, Talia is actually included in in the, the second batch of uh, of the blooming batch. So please um, save your zest for the gold fate core. I'm sure Talia will would be a better choice than than him. So as you can see, it's pretty much underwhelming. The skills are not really, you know, it's um, it's not really well thought of. I'm not sure why um, Exosiers even released this this character or this kit. I just hope they just do a, a, a rework or of this in the future. So, but for now, I, I don't think um, it's going to be a good one. So skip this banner, move on, or wait for the next Gold Fate Core to be, to be announced in this game. So also skip the exclusive weapon, of course, because um, um, don't, don't waste your zest on exclusive weapons. And we move on to the Quantum Raid Holiday. So again, there's a new Quantum Raid with all of the um, improvements from the previous one. I'll have a separate video on this. Um, I have to I have to play this one because I didn't play the Halloween um, Quantum Raid event, but I'll be able to play this one and I'll put out a guide as well for the Quantum Raid. Okay. Um, I'm excited to to discuss this portion because this is Signature Force and recently um, there were um, significant additions to Signature Force, particularly in the addition of Vagabond. So Vagabond Signature Force is also added now and Schmidt and company and Awaken Zion and uh, Seowa can have their, their, what do you call this, their um, Signature Force extra damage ready but you have to you have to have other copies of of um of uh, schmidt to for this to take effect so you need at least three copies of of schmidt two one is the original copy 
um, you have to transcend that one. And the extra copy is for the level one of Signature Force for um, Vagabond. So these are the enhan enhancement effects per per level. So level one adds slight element damage to heroes of Vagabond. Two provides buff to heroes of Nation. And if there are two or more Vagabond Nation heroes in your team, three is grants buff to Schmidt and four grants buff to Sewa. So also there have been changes in terms of the requirements for both. Um, I think levels levels three and four um, there will only be one representative hero for uh, required or to be consumed for each nation so that includes the previous nation including um, including vagabond now so before it used to require two so for this one so this used to be two now it's only one so better and good for us so that we won't you know won't waste um other copies we go straight to level four with only one copy for third for level three and level four also there are changes in the enhancement effect the most notable change here is attack speed of plus 16. this is actually um pretty much significant guys because um the game is really dictated by speed and who goes first so I'm sure this is very hard for some, some players to achieve, but eventually all of us will be getting there. So it will be good that you, you know, you try to try to grind the game and to reach this level at least. This is Grant's buff to Rachel Hero. So this will be, I think, level three, right? So again before it was only defense plus 400 and health plus 1600 now it's attack plus 150 defense plus 500 health plus 2000 and attack speed plus 16. so very good um additions but again a lot of players will will struggle with this one so hope you all can can be able to grind this one there are actually other ways to gain um uh faded uh faded uh, copies of of heroes or of, or of generals i'll put the link up there so, th so that you guys can know on how to get more copies of your generals so for those who already um consume more than one hero before and have gone to level three and four they will be giving you um a special faded hero selection ticket so that you can recruit uh, Rachel, Bathory, Janai, Garf, Shufrak, and Indorka. So that's a reward that they're going to give to you back. Ki kind of like a refund of what you paid for extra. So move on to our Knot of Creation. So for the Knot of Creation, this actually can be carried out by reopening String of Creation Re by collecting certain Knots of Creation points between Air Squadron members. Hmm. This is good because, you, you know, um, some of this is actually just an option for you guys most of most of beginners and free-to-play players don't usually go for this because this this consumes their zest but this will remain as your option to reopen to reopen um string of creation that you've closed already okay so after joining the air squadron you gain not points by acquiring heroes that are equipped with fate core through all recruitment except for the string of creation so this means um banners and uh, usually banners all of the banners that are um on your main screen uh or, or in your recruit except for string of creation you will earn not points for that one okay the acquired not creation points can be found in the air squadron menu and can be accumulated as well as shared amongst your air squadron members once reached 200 the dimension knot will be Provided to all Air Squadron members, Dimension Knot is a new material that can be that can reopen the String of Creation Re and can be used at Recruit String Creation Re. Again, so Knot Points Reset, one of every month and one can be obtained um, at a maximum per month. Okay, so we are now in page two of the update. So we'll be getting another String of Creation Re, which includes Janai, and the dancers sorry and and the singers 
uh, namely Wilkes and Monica. So the only good thing about her, if if is uh, sorry, the, the only good thing about this um, synergy, our string creation re synergy, is that you have another chance to pull Janai. So this is the only that is the only reason why you why you go through this banner. But for again for free to play players, I'm not really recommending this. Um, again. Um, this is already recommended if you have a lot of zest to burn um, for the string of creation. So core memory, they will be adding uh, Talia. This is Talia, Legger, and Jean for this one. So they will be adding core memory again. So what I'm, I'm looking forward to Talia because I think Talia would be a gold freight core. And we have Liffy's gift for seven days in celebration of a holiday so again for the seven day period at the end you'll be getting rachel okay take note you'll be getting rachel plus a memory of blue-eyed rudolph rachel so you'll be getting rachel and his fate core this will be an orange fate core for rachel so for those who are trying to get rachel for the string of oh, sorry for for the for the signature force um, he will be free after seven days of logging in. Okay, so Eternal Bond update. The next two characters or heroes will be Shufraken and Dorka. So for me, I'll be going for Shufraken because I'm currently um, trying to um, improve Dorka in terms of the um, string. Uh, sorry, of the signature force. I'm getting confused about both signature force and string creation. So sorry for that. So for the community pay event, I think this is. This is the this is um, the the event that FC Bathory's Orange Fate Core will happen. So step four reward Holiday Lady Bathory can be obtained without hero. So this is going to be only an FC of Bathory. So very sad for those who are trying to ex actually including me. I thought um, this is together with Bathory as a hero, but it, apparently it's only her Fate Core for the community payment event. So currently we already have an updated login screen. Um, I actually played the game earlier and um, um, they've updated the scenery already to include a tree and to include presents under the tree. So that is it for this update. For those who are actually planning to join the game, now is a really good time to join the game. A lot of freebies. A lot of um, a lot of things to look forward to new content watch out for the quantum raid video that I'll be putting out this coming weekend or next week so if you have comments and suggestions please write them down below y'all stay safe and this is the warden and I'm out